Well, hello world. Welcome to Raccoon Point Studios. I'm Sean Bombs. This is AVM where we talk about audio, video, and music production. Today we're going over five essential guitar pedals for beginners. So if you're brand new to playing guitar, or if you've been playing for a little bit and you feel a little overwhelmed or intimidated by guitar pedals and what they do, this video is for you. Right on the desk here, we have five pedals and they are all Behringer pedals. We are not sponsored by Behringer. They were just very inexpensive and they actually sound really good. So I wanted to use them for these purposes. I'm gonna go through all these pedals and give you sound examples of what they do. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a little bit of an understanding of these guitar pedals. So we're gonna start with the Behringer Compressor Sustainer CS400. And what a compressor is for is to level out your guitar volume. So when you're playing loud, it's going to clamp down a little bit. When you're playing light, it's going to bring up some of that level so you can get a little bit more articulation out of your playing. So if you're playing something soft, you will hear every little bit of detail of what you're playing. And when you're playing loud, it won't poke out as much. So your guitar will be present no matter how many people you're playing with. So I'm gonna give you an example. Here's my clean sound. I just wanted to play something light and loud for you. And here is with the compressor in. So hopefully you could hear that with the YouTube compression, no pun intended. When I played lighter, it, you could hear the articulation of the pick and everything like that and of the sound of the guitar and when I played loud it would clamp it down so it wasn't as pokey so just imagine if there was a lot of people playing and, and your finger picking lightly like this compared to this That's the difference, okay? So low level detail up, loud portions of your playing down. And that's what it does. It also is used as an effect for character of your guitar sound. That's for another video. So next we're gonna move on to the Behringer Ultra Chorus UC200. And it is in the modulation family. Make sure you subscribe because in some coming up videos we'll be talking about different types of modulation. But this one's a chorus pedal and what it's going to do is give the effect of more than one guitar player playing at the same time um, or it's going to give the appearance of depth and width to the guitar sound so i'm going to show you what it sounds like again my clean sound and now with the chorus So I'm sure you've heard that sound on plenty of different songs, records, especially from the 80s, early 90s, very popular sound that people used. Robert Smith from The Cure, Kurt Cobain from Nirvana, to name a few. So next we have the OD300. It's an overdrive distortion pedal from Behringer, and it has overdrive plus distortion, and there is a difference. Overdrive is going to give you a rock and roll sound. Distortion is going to give you a heavy metal sound. I will play with the overdrive sound first. Okay, and I just will show you what the distortion is going to sound like. I'll play the same thing so you can hear the difference, but then I'll play you what people would probably use that sound for. And as you can tell, it's a lot more aggressive and a little bit thicker in the low end and people would like to use it for palm muting chuggy 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 stuff that's the distortion overdrive pedal and again make sure that you subscribe because we'll be going over all these pedals in full detail in our upcoming videos so next we have the vintage delay vd 400 by behringer it's a delay pedal delays add repeats to what you've already played monkey see monkey do and i will show you so 
So as you can tell, I just play one thing and it just repeats. And you can change how many repeats and the, and the intensity of all that stuff. And um, it's really one of the funnest pedals to play with. can really add rhythmic percussion to what you're already playing because it's adding these repeats and they're in a time so if you really play to the repeats you can get some stuff that you wouldn't normally get by just playing guitar without it okay so next let's move on to reverb we have the digital reverb dr600 it has a bunch of different reverbs in it the first one i'm just going to show you real quick is the room sound and that's basically what reverb was created for is to recreate what it sounds like when you're playing in a different space so if it's in a, a little room or if it's in a church size cathedral type of room um, or all the way to a stadium so you're getting longer decays of reverb or shorter ones depending on what you're trying to go for and right now i have it on room so let's check that out without it Okay, so you get the idea for that, and I'll just go show you one more reverb real quick. This is a hall reverb, and I'll turn up the decay time, and you can hear it's a lot longer. compared to this. So there you have it, five essential guitar pedals. Join us in the next one where we'll be going over the compressor sustainer in more detail so you can really hear what that pedal does, learn what the controls do, and we'll be going through all these five pedals so by the end of the series you should have a better understanding of what the pedals do and what the most common parameters of these types of pedals are. All right, I'll see you in the next one.